Today we'll be making rutabaga carrot ginger soup. So we're just going to give these carrots a peel. So we need about five cups of carrots. You can do these in the food processor too. You don't have to cut them by hand. I love cutting the vegetables all by hand. It just feels good. But a food processor makes short work of this, especially if you're, if you're in a hurry to get your soup done. The recipe calls for one large rutabaga. Then we're just going to cube up the rutabaga. And we need about a cup and a half of chopped celery. So I'm cutting the onion a little bit smaller than some of the other vegetables, and that's because onion takes a little bit longer to cook. And about two medium potatoes. Your vegetable oil of choice. Enough to coat the bottom of the pot with a thin film. So we'll do the onions. And then the carrots, potatoes and rutabaga, and lastly, the celery. I'm gonna give it a little stir just to coat everything with the oil. Now, I made a homemade vegetable broth, so we'll just add that in there. While the soup is simmering, we can grate some ginger, and I got this beautiful, fresh ginger from the farmer's market. We need about two tablespoons. Stir in the ginger and add some fresh black pepper. And stir that in and then we'll puree the soup. That's getting really thick, so we're going to add a little bit more broth and continue to puree it. I'm using an immersion blender. So now we're ready to serve the soup. And this is going to make a lovely warm lunch along with a nice green salad, maybe a loaf of crusty bread. And there you have it, it's a farmer's market in the bowl. Oh, look at that guy. These are called Shin Kuroda, and it's a Japanese variety that we found just do really, really well here this time of year. They have a really great sweet flavor and very nice crunchy texture.